What is up guys? It's a wanted turtle and we are doing another Pokemon video today. We are going to be opening up another one of these Detective Pikachu Charizard GX collection boxes. I feel like that's probably a good luck way to hopefully pull the non GX Charizard. It is one of the cards that we still have to collect uh, as far as the Detective Pikachu cards. So, but before we get into that, I just want to hit some news that I saw the other day. And uh, it's interesting because um, Jack Parker, who won the last giveaway for the Restroom Charizard uh, card from uh, Double Blaze, uh, his answer to what would make a good tag team, he said, oh, well, I think they should have all three of the original starters uh, fully evolved. So that's Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. And I was like, oh, you know, I never thought about having three. And what do you know? The So Poke Beach, that's kind of where I uh, read up on the latest news. And uh, so Sky Legend, which would be SM10B, and uh, I am going to work on getting up getting a set of or a box of that uh to open when it does release uh they will be furching their first featuring their first tag team featuring three pokemon on the card and it'll be the three legendary birds uh our flying type um and this set is called sky legend so <laughs> so um parker you are exactly correct that's exactly where they're going and they're gonna be there quicker than i would have expected um and uh kind of like what i thought about your comment was yeah Pokemon loves their trios, and I'm sure the one you listed, the Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, uh, will be very quickly to follow, uh, along with all the other um, starter sets, along with all the other legendary trios. So uh, there you go. I guess I guess it was only a matter of time. Um, so I just thought that was hilarious. There's some other information about um, a new Lusamine, Lily, and Gladian cards. Uh, as well as Jesse and James, for so there's probably some Team Rocket stuff in there as well. Uh, to me, however, to me the biggest uh, piece of news was that that triple tag team, uh, and they're going to start with the legend, the original legendary birds. Uh, so um, there you go. That's just the quick news spiel for today, and let's get into this opening. Okay, let's do this. I once again I took the liberty of opening up the box. So here is the Charizard GX promo card. Very nice. And surprisingly, I'm looking for the non-GX. Here's the code card that came with the box. And of course, we have our uh, movie packs as well as Sunny Moon. And we'll have a Burning Shadows for this video. And uh, yeah, I really love this coin. Um, and so definitely, I would suggest getting at least one of these Charizard boxes just to get that coin. And uh, everything else, you know, obviously, there's alternate means to get all the stuff. And let's go with Crimson Invasion first. Go through that and Guardians Rising. Go through the movie packs and then wrap up with Burning Shadows. Alright, so let's get into this. Hope everyone's having a good day. Alright, Leaf Energy. Kakuna. I feel like that's, that's kind of like all these Kakuna. It reminds me of a... Uh, I guess I'm not sure. I can't think of a movie, but you know, I'm imagining like all these like things that are, and something's going to hatch from all of them. A Staravia Lusamine to be featured in SM11B, Starly, Nummel, Chimcho, Bunnelby, Carablast, a Mammoth Swine, I believe that is a rare, yeah, can I focus it, but I think it's a rare, and then for our first pack we have a Gorgeist, so just a regular rare, however we did get a reverse rare, which is very nice. And let's go into Guardians Rising. I believe this is the one with the Tapu Lele. So let's see if we can't get a Rainbow Rare Lele. That would be awesome. Alright, let's see. Another Leaf Energy. Alomola. Uh, <laughs> Alamomola. It's a uh, palindrome. Beware. I think it's a palindrome. A Sligu, Petal, Petal, Beldum, Alolan Vulpix, always cute, Slowpoke, Machop, Flexing, a Reverse Mudbray, oh my gosh, I do see something guys, what are the chances I called the pull, let's see, ah, okay, so we do have a full art, which is awesome, we have a Metagross, I feel like I pulled a Metagross GX very recently, 
Um, however, I don't think it was the, I think it was just a regular GX. So very nice pull there. Um, I feel like Metagross, I initially thought was going to be so cool. And then he was just, okay, this, the idea of a steel psychic type just sounded awesome. And uh, then when he was going to hit Pokemon Go, I was like, oh my gosh, this thing's going to be awesome. And then he was, uh, yeah, he wasn't great. So Metagross, very cool looking. Just, I feel like he didn't amount to much. All right, let's move on to these movie packs. We are still hunting for our first Charizard. And I think we have all the other cards. Could be wrong. So let's go through Snubble, Jigglypuff, Psyduck, and then uh, Mewtwo. Always happy pulling Mewtwo's. Um, I feel like we have a good amount of them though. And uh, just, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to get Mewtwo's, but give me a Charizard first, and then, then we'll take more Mewtwo's. All right, let's get into pack number two. And uh, we've talked about this before, but yeah, I'm still I'm still really enjoying this Detective Pikachu stuff. And let me know how you guys feel about it, whether or not you're getting... Uh, I feel like sometimes when there's a lot of hype and then everyone's opening the same stuff, especially for a set that's so small that uh, it can fizzle out relatively quickly, but I'm still really enjoying it. So let me know if you feel differently or exactly how you feel, uh, especially if you have your own channel. And you're going through the same thing. So we have a Charmander, Morlul, and then a Machamp. I do like this card. The cross chop feels pretty good. I think I'm still like super hyped on this just because I'm still chasing that last that Charizard. Although who isn't chasing a Charizard these days? But uh, I do like how all the boxes, they have a good amount of them. Yeah, they're only four cards, so I guess it's expected to have a good amount. But uh, for like this one, I think it's five, and then the box thing is seven. So good amount of, of packs, so you do have many shots at getting some of the rare slots. We have a Bulbasaur, Lickitung, and then a Mr. Mime. I think Mr. Mime and Arcanine are the two that I'm like, uh, okay, let's on to the next one. Where's that Charizard? The Detective Pikachu, I'm, I'm... Detective Pikachu and Mewtwo are like, yes, nice. And that Charizard is... Continues to be elusive. Alright. Quick card first. Morlo. Snubble again. Magikarp. And then a Ludicolo. Ludicolo is the one that's in the, the mid-tier, where I'm happy to see him. However, I still need that Charizard. All right, guys, last chance to pull that Charizard from the moon movie pack. And as far as these boxes go, I feel like they've been 50-50 on good pulls, especially when it comes to the Sun and Moon cards. I um, feel like a couple times we kind of came up uh, with nothing however we've been doing pretty good at least getting full arts and GX's and that's not Ooh, detective Pikachu okay nice I feel like the as far as uh, the long-term viability like the Charizard will probably be stay relevant the Mewtwo maybe a little bit less so the Pikachu would probably be uh, pretty good just card to hold on to all right let's go into burning shadows the hunt for the rainbow Charizard will continue for Actually, no, even if we hit it, we're going to keep going. We can never have enough of those. That card is just so epic. All right. Let's see. Water Energy, Charmeleon, Worm, Whirlipede, Wobbuffet, Mudbray, Tynamo, Oddish, Duskull, Morlil again. See, hmm, this pack is very similar to the last one, I think. And then a Crabominable. This guy in Abominable, I feel like they have like very similar naming. Uh, so a pretty good opening overall. We did get a Metagross Full Art. And then for the Detective Pikachu packs, we did get a Mewtwo and Detective Pikachu. Still hunting for that Charizard. Hopefully we do hit it soon. I'll be very disappointed if we go through all of our boxes without it. Um, but uh, 
So the hunt continues on many fronts when it comes to Charizards. And uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If you want to support the channel, do hit that like button down below. Kind of helps the channel grow, help us reach new viewers, and increase our subscriber count. We're getting a little bit closer to that 200 every single day where we're going to open up another box of Ultra Shiny GX, the Japanese variety, and give away two booster packs to lucky subscribers. So stay tuned for that. Um, and if obviously, again, obviously if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already, guys. I'm a water turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.